I am so excited to send this video to you because you are a committed partner of NBCC, and I want to give you an update on our preparations to launch our next campus in San Jose. I was asked the other day, why are we launching in San Jose? My answer was simple. We're following the cloud. Of course, I was referring to the biblical story of how God led the nation of Israel uh, out of Egypt to the promised land by using a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The reason why he used the cloud was he wanted to make sure it was clear in everybody's mind it was God who was doing the leading and no one else. And so it is with us here at NBCC. You may recall when we were told we had to uh, leave the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Mountain View, I said that I heard the Lord whisper to us, to me, that it was time for us to leave this mountain. After that, he shut down 70 opportunities for us to find a place in the local area, and we ended up going to Ridwood City. It turned out to be amazing. We have tons of people now coming from San Francisco, San Mateo, and that local area. And we're so delighted. Then it was the same God who brought the Trinon Theater across Pastor Tilden's desk and urged him to take a closer look at it. We ultimately made an offer. The offer was turned down. We walked away. And then it was the same God who urged me to reach out to a friend of the church and say, hey, would you consider purchasing a building, leasing it back to us, uh, and allowing us the option to buy? And then I mentioned the Trinon to him. He said, what? I was thinking about buying the Trinon just a few days ago. Three or four weeks later, he had purchased the building, turned it over to us with a 10-year lease with the right to purchase it for the same price uh, in the first five years. Isn't that a miracle? That's God. We're in San Jose because we're following the cloud. So quick update. Here's where we are. We hope and pray to launch our new campus uh, in that uh, beautiful facility by Easter. Now, it's our hope and our prayer because you know how challenging construction work can be. Uh, as recent as the end of, sep of uh, September, we will have cleared the building of its previous uh, occupancies. We'll start our construction work. We're putting in bathrooms and knocking out walls between classrooms to make space for our children's ministry. And most of all, uh, we're spending a lot of financial resources to make sure that we can broadcast my teaching from Ridwood City uh, straight into that uh, beautiful facility that has a thousand car parking garage literally right across the street. Now, I want to invite you to some vision meetings that uh, we're, if you come, we'll give you a tour of the facility and really talk to you about uh, how we intend to move forward. If you go to our website, you'll find this information, August uh, 24th and September the 7th. These are two Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. that you can participate. Or if a weeknight is better, we have a weeknight, September the 11th at 7 p.m., same facility. Uh, so whatever works best, we want you to be praying and thinking about it. Here's the last thing I want to say. Pastor Tilden, as you know, is going to be the campus pastor there. We're praying that God will raise up 125 uh, of leaders uh, from NBCC who will help him launch this ministry there in San Jose, people who will make at least a one-year commitment to uh, serve and attend uh, and invite others to, uh, to experience the ministry. And what's unique about the ministry? Well, I talked about it this past Sunday, right? Uh, it's not just another church that's going to be in San Jose. It's going to be an NBCC campus. And when it comes to proclaiming the gospel, the good news that Jesus changes lives, communities, and even seasons, NBCC, we proclaim that not simply in our words, but literally in our DNA. So against the backdrop of all this polarization, all the stuff you're reading and hearing about, we are uniquely shaped to proclaim the good news that comes in Jesus Christ. So I just wanted to just share this brief update with you, and I look forward to engaging in this next season with you. By the way, thank you. It was your support financially, your prayers, and your serving that has gotten us to where we are today. You guys are the bomb.
God bless you.